Warren, I wonder if you could go through uh, one thing for me. Could you, in just um, a few minutes, show me why standard time is the best timesheet and why I should choose it above the uh, others that might be on the market? Sure. Um, standard time probably uh, is one of the easiest timesheets to use on the market. Um, so, for example, it's, it's very intuitive. You see your projects and tasks in your timesheet. You can assign those to employees according to what you want them to see. But more importantly, when the employee puts their time in, they just put, they literally type the hours into the timesheet and they're done. Most of the other tools on the market force your employees to make four or five drop-down choices every time they enter their time, including whether it's billable or not. And that leaves room for mistakes and obviously isn't quite as easy to utilize. Whereas standard time allows your project manager or administrator to set that up on the front end, and then your employee just simply enters their time and they're done with it. The other thing the employee can do is run a single timer. If they prefer to use timers, they don't have to type their time. They can do that. And if you're going to use timers, there's a third method. You can go here to the View menu, scroll down to Quick Tasks, and when you open up the Quick Task window, you can literally just check a box, and it starts to time that task. And if you want to go to something else, you check a different box. It stops timing the first one, begins to time the next one. And this stays in the foreground of Windows, so basically all day long, as you toggle back and forth, it puts that time in your timesheet every time you check boxes. Yeah. So it's pretty simple to use. That's probably one of the main advantages. The other thing it has is a lot of, although the timesheet's simple, there's a whole lot of project management functionality in standard time. Uh, for instance, you can go to the tools menu here and you can see billing rates. You can have multiple billing rates uh, per employee or type of work for every single project that you run. So it's very flexible in that manner. And uh, while we're on that, if you want to see um, some other project management stuff, if I click on this little tab here, the Project Task tab, it's a little dashboard screen that gives you a little update on all your projects. And you can customize this window to display a multitude of columns. You can show cost client actual or employee salary to date. There's all kinds of things that you can view in this window, and each person gets to choose what they want to see without changing it throughout the whole organization. Is there an extra fee for the project management and other features? No, it's all included. So everything in standard time is a one-time one fee uh, for the license, and that's it. Um, in fact, there's a web version that uh, um, standard time comes with as well. We're looking at the Windows version, but you get both Windows and web, along with all the expense tracking and everything else that goes with it with no extra charge. We do not charge you anything for all the, all the components. It's automatically included in one price. Okay. So I've shown you the timesheet, the project task tab. If I click on the time log tab, this just is a simple historical record of all the time entered in through the timesheet. Um, they become what we call time logs. The expenses, the same is true. If you enter your expenses into standard time, they will appear in this window. Um, billing is the same. All your invoices will show in this window. And then your time off, standard time allows you to create as many time off reasons as you want. And it automatically will accrue. Um, at the rates or the levels you set for each employee and then when employees request time off and it's approved by the manager it gets deducted from the amount that's available in their bank of time for whatever reason they're utilizing. And so there's no extra fee for this uh, automatic uh, time accrual? No, not at all. In fact, you can see right here, here's the time off uh, you know, reasons in the timesheet and basically you just get to type in um, your request and there's no extra charge for that and it automatically calculates and accrues and keeps track of all of that stuff for you. In fact, there's a litany of reports that you can run that are included in that as well. One of the uh, reports is um, time off reports, which I won't get into here, but if I click on the time log reports, um, you can see that if I click on, let's just say, list by employee, and I want to see maybe for the last 60 days, and I run this report, it just breaks it out by person, and then you can see what each person did for that time range. And obviously it comes with a built-in report writer, so you can customize and change these reports or create your own if you like. And that all is uh, included with the price as well. There's no extra charge with that either. Okay. And now if we want to jump over here to some of the more project management side of things, if you go to the View menu here, um, you can scroll down and see um, Project Revenue. This will show you the expected revenue, and you can choose a certain project or all projects to see what you're expected to gain throughout the coming months. Right. Um, another thing you might want to look at in the View menu is maybe the, um, the employee status. You know, it just gives you a quick little glance. You can see what your employees are tracking time against or what they're doing. Uh -huh. And then from a more project management side, um, I would say the resource allocation is pretty nice. So if you click on resource allocation, you can see the inverse, which I'm doing here. I'm seeing who is available. Right now, Jill is allocated in this week, but out into the future, she has plenty of time available to take on additional work. 
and you can, you can look at this by department or company wide. In this case, I'm just going to choose another employee. Let's just look at Buzz Patterson here. When I click on Buzz, you can tell Buzz is not able to accept any work, clear out into July, and then he's available to take on additional work. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, in addition, there's automatic email notifications that will warn the employee that their timesheet doesn't contain enough hours or that a task is overdue or scheduled to start. So there's a lot of features in here that you can utilize or you can just uh, turn them off. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Warren. Certainly. Take care.